Tiger teachers and students. I'm coming to you today to talk to you about some changes that we have made in the district with some of our accessibility tools. So in the past, we have purchased Read and Write, the little purple puzzle piece in your Chrome extension uh, for our students to use to read tests, to read PDFs, to read Google Docs, to read web pages. Uh, but this tool has gotten pretty expensive through the years and uh, we're now able to use Eduphoria to do our unit assessments. They have a new text-to-speech feature so we are using that for assessments and so for our day-to-day -day use of reading web pages or PDFs or Google Docs we are switching to a free Chrome extension called Natural Reader. Now I'm going to show you how to use that tool. This is the Natural Reader web page. So I'm going to use this web page as my example throughout this tutorial. So in your um, Omnibar up here at the top, you will see the N, that is the Natural Reader Chrome extension. If you do not see it immediately, click this little puzzle piece here and it will give you access to uh, pin that extension up at the top or unpin if it's not something that you want to see all the time But if you use it, I recommend you pin it um, So anytime you want to use the functionality of the text-to-speech Click this in and this little bar will pop up here for you You also have the option of popping it out and to where the bar will be here at the bottom of the screen instead So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back up here to the top so at any time I can just press play. Text to speech for Chrome. Listen to web pages and Google Docs. Sit back. And it will read for you. Okay? So that is how it works for web pages. Now, if I need to switch to a Google Doc, I will do the same thing. I'm in a Google Doc. I'm going to click the in, and then I can come up here and just press play. I'm testing that you're already ability to read a Google Doc. Now, some voices can get a little annoying, so if at any time you want to switch the voice, you can click this cog wheel right here, and you have all of these voices to choose from. So it was on US Sharon. Um, actually, I'm in a premium tab. We are not paying for premium. We're gonna get the free version. Um, well, that wasn't there earlier. I know Heather is free. <laughs> I can read web pages or documents for you. That doesn't sound like me. Okay, so now I have Heather chosen, and I'm going to go back and I'm going to play that again. I am testing natural reader's ability to read a Google Doc. Okay, she's not much better. <laughs> but uh, you have the ability to change your reader. You have the ability to change. Oh, go up here. You have the ability to change the voice speed. So if you want to speed the voice up, which is probably not recommended, probably slowing down would be better. You can preview that. I can read web pages or documents for you. Okay, that's a little bit slower if that is what you need to be successful. You can also do a closed caption if you want it to, um, well, it's already highlighting for you, so I don't know why you would really need a CC panel, but it's there for you. Um, I guess in this reading bar, it'll show you a CC panel if you want it to be there or don't show the CC panel. Um, if you want it to do the sentence and the word, sentence only, word only. So what it does is it highlights the entire sentence and then it um, switches to the word. So the whole sentence is highlighted and then it does each word for you. So if you want to change that there, you can do it there, there, here, and what it looks like. If you uh, struggle with dyslexia, it can also switch and do a dyslexia font for you. So if the text that you are reading is one that you um, struggle with reading, this is Arial, um, you can pop out the panel here and then at the bottom, it will play it for you in a dyslexia font. And testing natural reader's ability. So Can see how the font is a little heavier on the bottom? That um, research shows that that helps the um, text stay on the page better for you. So that might be something that would help you if you struggle with dyslexia. I'll pop this back up here. And the cogwheel again. Auto scroll, click to read, um, hotkeys, and then 
um, if you ha highlight a section, this is pretty cool. If it's 60 characters or longer, it will uh, give you a headphone on the screen. So I'm gonna go here to the page. This is 60 or longer, so I'm gonna highlight it. And when I do that, see this little he headphone shows up for me? That is natural reader. So I can just click the headphone and, and it will start detection. reading. Only relevant text from web pages. Okay, so it will do a web page, which we have here. It will do a Google Doc. It will do email. It will also um, read a PDF for you. So if you click this plus sign here, you can pull in a PDF. and then you can play it. When testing natural writer's ability to read a PDF. Okay, if you um, want to change the, um, the speed or the voice, that is where you will do it here within this pane. So it's just a little bit different for you. So other than that, it will highlight and magnify. Uh, we are not paying for a convert to MP3 at this time, but the, the Dyslexia font is included. It will read emails, um, natural voices, Google Docs. So that is just a little bit about it. Um, I've ho hopefully I've given you enough information where you can click the in and get busy and use the tool wherever you are. So please let me know if you have any questions.